Helmet audio. We all know what it's like, right? Sometimes it's not loud enough. Sometimes it's not clear enough. You don't get definition. Well, one company thinks they have the answer. IASIS Concepts. And they have sent us their X-Sound 3 helmet speaker system. So we're going to unbox it, take a look at it, put it through its paces, and see what it's like. Roll the intro. Okay, so there's what the system looks like in the box. So first we've got their insert, it's got the installation instructions, and then we've got this. This is interesting, and this goes with this. They send you a keychain. What this tab is for is for sometimes, you know, when you put your helmet on, your ears get folded up. Yeah, slide into the face of your helmet and push your ears back up. Isn't that fantastic? But then we've got a stack of Velcro spacers here. Uh, there's four of them in there. And then a couple of sticky pad spacers too. And then we've got the earmuffs. Make it nice and smooth across the front. That's real nice if your helmet doesn't have speaker pockets in it. Yeah, X-Sound 3. Real good looking speakers. On their cord here, get some measurements. Left channel wire is uh, 15, 15 and a quarter. Yeah, 16 from cord to cord. Right channel speakers about seven and a half. Right off the bat, one of the things that IASIS asked us to do in our video and in our article was to mention that uh, one of their most common consumer complaints or customer complaints is the volume of the speakers. Um, installation is key to getting good volume out of your speakers. Also, I'll give you this tip for free. Uh, one of the things that really helps with uh, helmet audio volume is to wear a balaclava. Now that seems counterintuitive. You put something over your ears, how the heck does that help with your speaker clarity and volume? Well, I'll tell you, it's because it eliminates the air gap. You create a nice spongy material for the sound to flow through and it gets directly from the speakers to your ears without having to pass through air and get diffused there. So if you're having a hard time hearing your speakers, try putting on a balaclava and see if it doesn't help. Oh, and they also say to use a, a good quality sound, something without a lot of compression in it. So or on everything at, what is it, 128 bit or whatever it is, CD quality. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and plug these speakers just directly into my phone. Okay, we're listening to Ill Disposed, The Final Step. So they sound really very good. They sound as good as my big stereo headphones that I've got at work, and they've got good bass to them too. So let's see if we can retain that sound clarity in the helmet. Now, I'm not going to film the installation because I don't want to show myself messing around monkeying with my helmet and getting mad at it and trying to get the pieces out of it and back into it and everything and just look like a clumsy fool on for the world to see. So I'm not going to videotape that. But I am going to install it here in my uh, LS2. This is the LS2 Stream full face helmet. IASIS is going to have a tough act to follow because I've got those real nice JBL speaker upgraded speakers attached to my Cardo right now. And, and if you watch the Cardo review... Um, my headset's got real good sound to it already. So I've installed the IASIS speakers in my helmet. Um, it took me about 20 minutes total. This picture here is the inside of the helmet after I took all the liners off and I removed the uh, headset or the audio set from my Cardo, my JBLs. This next picture here is a close-up of the speaker attached to the Velcro pad. This picture here shows the Velcro ring that attaches to the back of the X sound speakers. Uh, pro tip here, put the soft side of the Velcro inside your helmet so that if you ever take your speakers out or whatever, you don't have that rough Velcro edge on the inside of your helmet. Yeah, use the soft side on the inside of your helmet and the rough side on the speaker body itself. This next picture here, I like to over-engineer everything, so I've used a little bit of uh, double-sided window tape, like insulating window tape on the inside of my helmet to attach that connection where the speaker jack goes into the plug off of the cardo unit um somebody's gonna say that's bad having a big thick thing like that on the inside of your helmet yeah maybe it's gonna be inside there somewhere anyway you know you, you start putting equipment inside your helmet there's always a chance of some sort of intrusion this next picture here shows the speaker with the helmet all put back together um, i did do a sound test after i put the speakers in the first time and it wasn't quite what i wasn't quite perfect so i took them out again and added a spacer 
So I listened to three different songs. I wanted to get a good, round idea. Rap God by Eminem. A very heavy synthesized bass line, and then you've got some very fast vocals in a high pitch. The IASA speakers sounded wonderful with that song playing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you that the bass is richer, deeper, and more reverby than on my JBL audio set. Then I listened to Short Change Hero by The Heavy. A very buttery, very mid-range sort of husky female vocalist. If the bass line all the way through the song is, is just very low and somber and very rich. So no, no high range to speak of. Those Marching O'Neills by The Wicked Tinkers. Uh, the Wicked Tinkers are a Celtic folk band. A lot of bagpipes, a lot of drums, percussive drums, in it. and it's all instrumental. There's a percussive bass line. There's highland and lowland pipes in there, bagpipes, you know, which have a really high warbly sort of sound to them that bass can really drown out or, or distort. And then it's also got a didgeridoo. Now, uh, as David Crow says, if you don't know what a didgeridoo is, you should. Um, and again, so just a lot of different instruments with a lot of different vocal profiles or a lot of different sound profiles on those instruments. And the IASA speakers were able to play that music beautifully. I'm going to say that they're, they're performing at least as good as the JBLs and maybe better. If, if I'm able to retain the audio quality that I've got just sitting here on my couch with my helmet on my head looking like a fool out there on the bike doing 70, 80, 90 miles an hour, they're going to come out on top. So we're going to get on the bike. Not right now. Um, I'm just going to cut to it. This is probably like three days later, whatever it is. But we're just going to cut to it and talk about the speaker. All right, so this is my first ride with the ASS X-Sound 3 speakers in the helmet. Now, I don't know if you can hear the music in the video right now. I've got the speakers turned up just as loud as I can go. I'm listening to Avenged Sevenfold. And it's so loud in my helmet that I cannot hear myself talking right now. Now I've got both volumes turned all the way up. The Cardo volume's all the way up and these and my phone volume is all the way up. So this is like max volume. And I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> it's all just music. Yeah, this is awesome. Music sounds great. I'm not insane, I'm not insane. Okay, so today I'm gonna go and I'm gonna work for eight and a half, nine hours. And when I get out of here, it'll be warm, it'll be light out. I'll jump on the freeway and we'll see how it sounds at 70 miles an hour. Bye. All right, so we're back. It's a little brighter outside, obviously. It's a little warmer. After my ride in this morning that we've just watched, um, I didn't think there was any reason to check the music volume on the interstate. It's going to be fine. It was so stinking loud. So I'm actually listening to a podcast right now. I'm listening to the Cafe Racer podcast with Crash and Steve. If you've never heard of them, uh, you should check them out. They're pretty awesome. I like them. I support them. But mostly I just want to see if I can hear the spoken word at freeway speeds with these speakers. And I'm doing 80 miles an hour and I can still hear them. I can hear my podcast perfectly. I can hear them talking. And so if you're the sort of person that that you'd like to ride to listen to an audio book if you could or listen to the news on, the, on your commute, these speakers will do that for you. Okay, so for this portion of the review, we have got the conditions just as bad as they can be. I'm wearing my prescription eyeglasses, which oftentimes can make the inside of a helmet very uncomfortable when you've got speakers behind your cheek pads. I'm wearing earplugs, motorcycle rated earplugs. Um, I'm wearing a balaclava. It's a windy day. And I'm gonna get up on the freeway. We're gonna do 70 miles an hour. And then in a moment, Carrie is gonna call and she's recording her side of the conversation at home. I wanna be very clear uh, when the phone call starts that Carrie is recording on her end with a separate audio recorder and I will match up or pair up those two audio streams in post. So when you hear her talking, please don't assume that the voice is coming through that loud that the mic in my helmet can hear it that well. We're gonna pair up those two things. Also, cellular audio is about as bad as you can get. That's the, the weak 
weakest link when it comes to the audio that you can be sending to your headset is a phone call. While I wait for Carrie to call, I'm going to turn my music back on. This will be the first time I've tried listening to music at full speed with earplugs in and such. So I'll turn the music back on. Hey Cardo, music on. Hey, so I want to remind you, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to crush that like button. Make a comment, subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos go live. Also, the best thing you can do is tell your friends about us over here at Total Motorcycle. If you'd like to go a step further, please consider donating to our Patreon account, www.patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com backslash Total Motorcycle. I want to say that this is the most clarity that I have ever been able to attain listening to my music on a headset ever so far. Um, I can hear the nuances of the acoustic guitar. The, the bass isn't... Um, as reverby as you'd like it to be like if you're wearing a, a pair of actual stereo headphones, of course, just because there's so much muffling going on. But you can hear the bass. Oh, there's the phone call. We're going to answer it. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Good, is it windy? Yes, it is. It's very windy. Where are you at? I am making the uh, interchange from I-15 to I-84 in Riverdale. Oh wow, you're in Riverdale already. Yes. Tell me what you see. Um, there's a Dodge Dart coming the other, not a Dodge Dart, a Nissan coming the other direction. There's a, uh, like an Onyx gray Toyota merging up ahead. No, probably not. This wind, there's lots of leaves blowing across the road right now. I mean, All right, well, I'm gonna let you go. Okay. You ride safe, baby. I love you. All right. Love you. Bye. All right. So as you can see, the phone volume, the phone clarity was excellent. I was able to have my conversation on the phone with Gary. Um, that's the best it's ever been talking on the phone on any headset I've ever owned. Okay, so this segment of the video I like to call, Don't You Wish You Lived in Utah? <laughs> so if I've learned anything, I have learned that you all prefer to listen to me talk while I'm riding rather than listening to me talk while I'm sitting on the couch or something, so... Let's go ahead and run through our conclusions on these speakers real fast here on the bike. So we're talking about the IASIS X-Sound 3 helmet speaker kit. And they're incredible. <laughs> That's all I can really say about them. Um, they installed really well. They're an attractive speaker. Not that that matters. They're stuffed inside your helmet. Um, functionally everything's like it should be all the wires are long enough and they fit together right and there's no loose connections like you sometimes get with some of these helmet sets no problems with any of that um, they included that extension cord I can't imagine how you would ever need that but if you did it's there so that's awesome as far as their performance I mean we've just been through all of that I mean, these things literally give me ways to use my headset that I have not been able to use it before. And I mean, if, you, if you're familiar with my articles, my reviews, my other videos, that to me is one of the benchmarks. I mean, if a product changes the way I am able to use my motorcycle and the rest of my equipment, that to me is outstanding. And this does that. It gives me a, a, a thing that I can do with my headset. I can listen to podcasts or audiobooks now if I'm on a real long ride. I can accept phone calls now even if I'm doing 70 miles an hour on the freeway. And be able to talk to somebody. Around town it makes the music just incredible. I mean you saw that ride on my way into work that cold morning. So, I mean, that's amazing. That's incredible. They're, they're just, they work really well for what they are. 
and for what they do they do exactly what I needed them to do the price point is excellent uh, they're going for $119 on Amazon right now that's a little more so that's $40 more than the JBL audio set that they partnered with Cardo to put out those are going for 70 bucks right now or excuse me they're going for like 79 something like that so they're a little more expensive than those but I had those speakers in here already and there were things I wasn't able to do with those I mean they came stock with the unit so for me they were included in the price but if you're looking at upgrading your speakers right now spend the extra 40 bucks and pick up these X sound threes they are worth the money